Hi there, this is Nani City. It is very cold here. And two friends, myself, Pandit Fakir Yogi, Vendir Yogi, and my best friend, Dr. Satnarayana. So we are walking together. And when we are walking together, we, we have a lot of questions in our mind. And that way we want to really inspire and educate people also that how they can learn some lessons which you have learned in life. So Dr. Satnarayana sir was discussing with me that the society is not really homogeneous and harmonious and there are so many evils and devils, illiterate, uneducated, foolish people. They are ready to fight and quarrel and they want to spoil everything. Then in this turbulent society, how people like us who loves peace, who is having the foundation of truth, justice, peace, love and non-violence, kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility, generosity, sympathy, understanding, keen sense of justice, try to be useful, productive, creative, and that we want to really serve the mankind. He is serving as a great doctor, and I am trying to serve the mankind by stimulating their intelligence with noble thoughts. That's why I am yogi, mastering, trying to learn more and more about how to control the mind and direct towards peace and happiness and joy for everyone. So, Dr. Sadhana, you have a question. How to avoid evils and devils, right? Yes. There is a question, sir. Because, you know, everywhere you will find some kind of evils and devils. So, one of my best friends, and he is none else than one of the greatest poet, a philosopher and thinker, he suggested us, avoid loud and aggressive persons. What, Dr. Sir? Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are very much vexations to the spirit. They are very much vexations to the spirit. Vexations. They are vexing. They are vexations to the spirit. They are violent people. Yes, violent. That's why in yoga we are learning how to deal with other people, non-violence, truthfulness, non-stealing, controlling our sexual energy and being non-possessive, not begging a lot of things and not accepting any kind of offering from others. So that is the real meaning. But simultaneously what Max Herman says, I told you the great poet, that, that without surrendering, try to be good with all people. Without surrendering, Without maintain a harmonious relations with all mankind. Because that is the really portal of heaven. Because the lesson is, find good with all. Bully, sir. Find good with all. Find good with all. Find good Don't with all. look at the dark part of the human being. Everyone has left some mistakes. Be, be good with all. Be good with all. And think good with all. Good of all. And think good of all. That is in our yoga and Vedanta philosophy. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarvadrani Pashantu, Makasit Dukbha So meaning is, as void evils and devils because it is very difficult, the evil thoughts are deeply rooted in their mind and these evil thoughts are greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynicism. They are so much saturated that they are ready to destroy everything else. Better run away. Huh? In Hindi, that is called Chari Man Haribum Khan Ke Sang. Jake Sang Kubuti Pujate, Parat Bhajan Me Bhang, Chari Man Haribum Khan Ke Sang. So I think your question is answered, Honorable yes, Sir. Yes, yes. Thank you, Sati Baba. Thank you. Sir, thank thank you. you.